recording. Yeah, it's recording in progress. Okay, here we go, folks. It is, uh, it's Monday and it's our pop-up show. And we have a lot of fun with a lot of people. And uh, let me see if we can get them all on here. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Admit all. Let me make sure they're all legitimate people. Okay, here they come. Jeff Stein showing solace. Uh, uh, we got our good friend up in Canada. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Um, uh, oh, yeah, there's a... Um, there, let me go. Edward Berger is there. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, Len LaFrisco. Hello, Len. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was trying to hear this thing off of speakers, but I got to guess I got to keep my earphones in. Let me admit. Uh, what's your name? Marjorie Millar. <laughs> um, doesn't sound like a real name to me, but we'll let her on anyway. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Gee, Paula isn't here today. Hmm. Oh, well. She's your friend. You're responsible for her, Marjorie. <laughs> I'll send her a note. Somebody yeah. on this panel with a life. Holy cow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a thought. Okay. Yeah. Uh, welcome to a Monday. Uh, yeah. This is the third day that I've warmed this coffee up. I made it on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> made it on saturday to have with uh, my friends i have a little zoom call with and then yesterday i warmed it up a little bit and then i warmed it up today so it's it's brand new it's a third day coffee and you know you can warm it up that much don't you think and El it's got legs now yeah here's uh here and there's jeff of course and uh, scott Boddicker from the uh, the killer state of Texas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Boy, yeah, you're, not, the one. you're not letting us down, are you? And of course, <laughs> uh, Charlie is from Texas as well. How do you guys feel about that? I hate We're Adam. number one. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Today I was seeing with Greg Abbott. Boy, what a moron that guy is. Huh? <laughs> or we're Greg Abbott. Uh uh, said that it it wasn't guns that were the problem. It was mentally ill people. Well, we could, couldn't we refine this a little bit that it's mentally ill people with guns? <laughs> you know, I mean, he refuses to admit that. You know, that you how how do you, you can go out and get a gun right now, can't you, uh, Scott or you, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. Probably. If, yeah, I, if I, mean, I could find a gun store, I'm sure they're on Google somewhere. But yeah, yeah if you go to <laughs> What, what were we going to no. say, Charlie, if you go to a gun store? I, I, you can go to a gun store and be back in five minutes with my gun. <laughs> really? so don't, don't they have like food trucks that go through town? And <laughs> they have, it's it's drive through. Through. It's a drive through yeah. <laughs> no, unfortunately, Texas now has the equivalent of our frosty, frosty freeze trucks going around. <laughs> and they have a, a little song. Da -da 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 -da. Still your neighbor today. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh -huh. And look down there is Mandy. 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 Hello, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. How's okay. work? How's work going? Okay. <laughs> that, that's enthusiastic. Yeah. Work yeah. is good. Um, there, I was just all of a sudden thinking about your live yesterday. There was something I was going to ask Marjorie, and now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> what was it? A, the, I mean, our, our recording we made yesterday? Well, oh, yeah. live, your live that you did. From yeah, the yeah, yeah. Something that she said or y'all were talking about at the beginning. I'll think of it. Yeah, okay. the, the quality on that wasn't very good. For some reason, it was a bad signal or something. And then all of a sudden, at the end, I... When I tried to show the park, it went, it muted my camera. I couldn't figure it out. So mm. you know, I'll, I'll, I'll call Apple and ask them if I have a day free, you know, so. <laughs> all day. But anyway, so, so, so Texas is really, I mean, it, it, his excuse was the, it isn't the guns. It's that's why we're cutting funding for uh, mental health uh, in Texas. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> 
even though he said he's added 25 million or billion, I mean, they don't spend million dollars to mental health. He, it's being cut by the legislation. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's crazy. They just it's, lie. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And a good friend up, up in uh, Canada with uh, Mike Chisholm. Hey, everybody. Who, who has to put up a, the Letterman podcast with Mike Chisholm. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I hate to say it this way, but I'm prepping for another meeting. The moment this meeting is over, I'm jumping on a meeting with a couple other people and we're shooting something. Uh, well, we're we're shooting a pilot kind of sort of for uh, that we're going to submit to Worldwide Pants. So that's what's going on right after this. So I'm kind of prepping for that at the same time as jumping on this call. Mm hmm. Well, well, yeah. well, he's always out there promoting. Yeah. yeah. That's the name of the game. Yeah. What makes you think Worldwide Pants will want to do business with you? Well, they asked us to shoot, so that's a that's a good indication. Yeah, who asked you? Uh, somebody with Worldwide Pants. <laughs> somebody in who's a big person at Worldwide Pants? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're. Uh, I wish Rick were here. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting, actually. It's um, it's 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 a neat time. We're gonna we're gonna me and a couple other people are gonna shoot um, a pilot of a show where we go over the uh, videos that the Worldwide Pants Network has put up over the last week. Kind of like remember Talking Dead for Walking Dead, Talking Saul for Better Call Saul, kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> It'd be good if the show was still on. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Alex. I appreciate that, brother. Oh, no, I mean, I, who, who, well, I have to say this honestly. Who has a need for it? I mean, you've already got the little short things they do already, which is yes. simply repeats in most cases of stuff that have been on shows. Yes. So how do you do like a, a a a talking dead or talking whatever? You know, one of those kind of shows off of something that already ran that was rerun. Well, uh, I'll give you, you know, I'm going to help moderate it today. So one of the things that we're, and again, this is just a pilot. We're kind of figuring it out. But I mean, we would obviously have guests on and things like that as well. Like we would have writers on. Maybe maybe they put up a bit uh, that was really, really funny and legendary. Maybe we get the writer of that. I feel like I'm being, talk about I'm being sold the pitch here. <laughs> well, kind of. I'm just explaining to you the premise of the show. Um, last week, Dave, uh, the clips that went up on, on, on the YouTube channel were former clips of Dave talking about the writer's strike. So we can talk about that. Uh, there were some star Wars clips that went up because last week was star Wars day on May the 4th. So we can talk about that. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of ways that nerds can nerd out about the things that they love. And that's what this is all about. Okay. <laughs> okay. I suppose you're not our audience, but that's okay. Oh, our I'm audience not, does know, I'm exist. Not, I'm not your audience. No, no. I like entertainment. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, and uh, let me see. Uh, Charlene, hello there, Charlene. Hi. You sent me some email the other day, didn't you? Or a, a message? Um, I don't think I did. I'm, I don't think I did. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. Remember. I can send you one though. You want me to send you one? Sure, go right <laughs> ahead. I, <laughs> you know, uh, I I am just. Um, uh, we went for a walk yesterday, and it was a nice walk. Uh, we walked about a mile and a half, I think, which for me is a is a a current record. Marjorie, however, will start walking. And and she can she can rack up three miles, you know. So, but she's three years younger than I am. Let's see how she's yeah. doing at my age. Almost four. Almost. Mm -hmm. four. What do you mean? What do you mean? Almost four? You really want to separate us by that much, huh? <laughs> well, you're what? You're going to be eighty, or you are eighty? No, I'm seventy-nine. See, she lied to me <laughs> when we first went out. She made me think. Look who's talking. I'm the one that figured your age. Yes, but you you kept kind of intimating that you were about three no, years older than you were. I just figured it out within a couple times I saw you. I figured out how old you are. You no. just didn't know how to find so out a that. A friend of hers held a birthday party for her. 
at, <laughs> at this restaurant and, I'm, and everybody's getting up and making speeches about Marjorie and so on. And I didn't. And the reason I didn't is it didn't seem like it was a special occasion. And then a couple of weeks later, somebody said, boy, that was a really nice 80th birthday or 60th birthday, 70th birthday, I think it was. 65. 65, 65th birthday party. Yeah. And I went, she's not 65. And he said, yes, yeah, she is. That was her 65th birthday party. That's why we were all there. She lied to me. And she was so. I didn't committed. lie, she Alex. Was, no, we just didn't talk were, about it. You were so committed to that lie, right? Okay. You you weren't committed to that lie. You certainly no. were committed to that lie. So now I realize I married an old bag. Okay. <laughs> Didn't somebody call you that recently? Wasn't that that guy on the street that you told him? To in the park with the music? bike. Oh, yeah, he was riding his bike on the sidewalk. And you said you shouldn't that be. That was a motorized that. bike. And, and she said, he said, yeah, it was motorized, even worse. Uh, and, and he said, shut up, you old biddy. No what? bitch. No biddy. He biddy. said bitch. Did he say bitch? bitch? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would I would have gone gone over and and uh, uh, and uh, told him to stop. Yeah, my hero is going to go over there <laughs> and and tell this big guy on a motorcycle to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, th I think I added something to that, didn't I? I told him. No, you just too. stayed in the background. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I I remember saying something to him. Like, you're right, she is an old bitty. <laughs> that was responding to him. <laughs> and hello to uh, our good friend who just had to put up with the Kentucky Derby, in which seven horses died. Are withdrawn, yeah. Well, no, they died. Right. They died. Not yeah. Seven d horses died in the run-up to the Kentucky Derby at uh, Churchill Downs. I was going to say. I was going to say Downton Abbey. Yeah, they were. They were put, or they were put down because of injuries. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, isn't that a rather? Think about it. Isn't that a rather cruel race? I mean, those those horses are so mentally uh, affected by all of this that the horse that's next to them when they're going down to the to the place where they I don't know what do they call the that calming horse. They're, but they're calming horses because these hard right. horses are so high strung. And if you notice, they're always kind of nuzzling the other horse. You know, it's. It, it, I, I think maybe it's time we stop that sort of thing. Yeah. We don't consider it cruel, but I think the process to get them to the race and to get them in racing form is cruel. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not into horse racing, so I can't tell you that you're wrong. Wait a minute. You're in Kentucky and you're not into horse racing? Correct. I guess now, bur not... now bourbon I'm into. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I was going to say that. I, I, I was thinking gin. But see, I don't even know booze that well. Okay. But yeah, it's bourbon. They make good bourbon down there, don't they? Absolutely. And what is the difference? It's bourbon is a whiskey, right? Yes. Bourbon is a whiskey. And in order for you to call it bourbon, it has to be a certain mixture of grains. And it has to be produced in Kentucky. Otherwise, it's sour mash, right? Otherwise, it's sour mash whiskey. Like Jack Daniels is sour mash whiskey, and it's made just oh. like bourbon, but they cannot call it bourbon. Wow. That's because it's made in Tennessee. Wow. That's, uh, that's So is bourbon at the top of the chain? Well, let's put it this way. When I started working after college, I was working for one of the largest uh, distilleries in the, in the world, really, Seagram's. And now they don't do any of that. One of the plants that I worked at was in rural Kentucky, a town near Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. It is now owned by a Japanese company, and it is called Four Roses, and they make some of the best bourbon you can sip on. Well. Wow. Four 
I uh, see. I wouldn't notice the difference. I mean, I don't drink. You know, I don't think. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever had bourbon in my life. I mean, if I if I drank at all, it might have been vodka. You know, or uh, I I I got into the only. This is weird. I'm not a drinker. I hate the taste of alcohol, but I kind of got into scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is similarly made, except for. <clears throat> the whole process it, it, the, there's a there's a fermentation process you, you, you cook the grain you put it in a fermenter you add yeast and you let the fermentation take place over several days now the difference is when you make scotch you don't pump the entire contents of the cooking kettle into the fermenter you strain it so that the solids don't go in there and so you get a different character of the whiskey in scotch and Canadian whiskey is made the same way as scotch. Yeah. But everybody always said scotch. Ooh, wow, scotch is good. And I went, I really like the taste of scotch. The only scotch I like is at least 12 years old. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Same way I like my women. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to call you Matt Gates if you don't want that. <laughs> Uh, wow. So, I mean, it <clears throat> is that why it's so expensive is because it takes so long to ferment? Well, it's not the fermentation. After you make it and you make the liquid, you store it in charred white oak barrels. Yeah. And white oak barrels are, you know, expensive to produce. And then they have to sit in a warehouse. That's where bourbon gets its coloring. It's from the charred barrel. How long do they sit? Minimum of six years to call it wow. bourbon. You know, I the thing I like best about this show and about any of the shows that I do is that eventually I get all kinds of knowledge just from people who call me. I used to say that about radio. A lot of knowledge I had, I gained from people who call me. Here, I'm getting a complete education on the making of whiskey out of a complete alcoholic by the name of Ben and Nunn. No, but uh, um, you really like Kentucky, don't you? Well, I was born and raised here, except for three and a half years when I lived down on the Gulf Coast near Mobile, Alabama. When I think of Kentucky, I, I, the, I always get kind of a nice feeling about it, as opposed to some of the other states down there, because it just seems to be steeped in tradition and things like that. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, the really nice stuff you know well and for the most part for the most part people are very kind to strangers you know they're very friendly very open you know almost you know they talk about a southern tradition i mean mandy can talk to to that about being welcoming and that sort of thing it's kind of a southern tradition and kentucky definitely has that yeah yeah well no they i i felt when i lived in texas for instance they were very welcoming now, Jack Bishop, who was there at the same time I was, I think had a different impression of it because he's black and had to live in the black part of town in order to, you know, when he came to my neighborhood, everybody stared at us, you know, uh, but that's that's in the past. I don't think it's that way any longer. Thing no, I, but Abbott, I, Abbott's still trying to restrict voting in those those areas where it's mostly black people. Yeah. But I'll tell you what bothers me about uh, Georgia, about Atlanta in particular. How many different peach tree uh, peach tree st streets are there? <laughs> there's only one peach tree street. Oh, there's different. Uh, there's other things like Peach Tree Road, Peach Tree and Boulevard, yeah. Peach Street, whatever. I mean. There's just one Peachtree Street, and that is downtown. But they would say, they would say to me when I say, "How do I get to such and such a place?" They say, "Well, you go down Peachtree, yeah. and then you turn right onto Peachtree, <laughs> and I will then say you that go two blocks, and then turn left onto Peachtree." It, it, it all becomes the same thing, like Peachtree Street does become Peachtree Road, and then Peachtree. <laughs> <Road. laughs> and you can tell the difference between them. Mm-hmm. You don't live on a peach tree, do you? I do not, but I live right off of Peach Tree. Like the town I live in, the Sugar Hill, it's right off of Peach Tree Industrial. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I get on it. Call it P-I-B. <laughs> yeah, you see? You see? I uh, love these names. Peachtree, Sugar Hill. Sounds like I'm in a Willy Wonka book or something. I love it. <laughs> I feel like it would uh, not help your dental health at all living there. <laughs> you know. And I live in Gwinnett County, named after Button Gwinnett that signed the Declaration, the Declaration of Independence. I know Gwinnett. For some reason, I know about Gwinnett, and I don't know why I know about Gwinnett. I had a girlfriend that lived in Atlanta. And I it's one of the bigger counties. It's like the fact yeah. for a while fastest growing county in the nation. I seem to remember when I was visiting this girlfriend down there uh, that uh, we went to the, is there a Confederate monument where they have all the faces on the side of the hill or oh, something like Mount Stone Rushmore? Mountain. Stone Mountain, yes. What's it called? It's called Stone Mountain. It's a big, oh, huge Stone mountain. We went, we went to Stone Mountain. Did you climb it? No. Me? I don't climb anything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> on one side, you can climb it. On the other side, it's flat, and that's where the sculpture is. But it was a big Confederate. A lot of people have quit going there because it's so Confederate-related. They've tried to scale that back, but it's been a, a lot of controversy. Like, people think that should be that carving should be blasted off of it. I think that's so dumb. Just No, you no, look, you know, things sometimes, This this is what bothers me, is when... Things are are uh, part of history. Yeah. You know, I mean, when they did that Confederate memorial, they didn't think there was anything wrong with it. They right. probably wouldn't have done it today. No. Okay. You know, but back then it was okay. Well, when they put up uh, uh, Robert E. Lee's uh, horse statue in Charlottesville. Right. They, they thought it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Oh, I, oh, he's growing again. <laughs> What'd hello. You say? Hello, hello, Albert. Hello. Oh. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look, is, are you growing it again? No. Oh, no, that's just this thing down here. He's got I quite the soul patch going, though. Soul patch. Yeah, whatever you call it. Yeah, I got. I think I was thinking of doing away with my soul patch because it's too difficult to shave. Uh, yeah. Why is it called a soul patch? I don't know. I don't why understand. Why shouldn't it be called a soul patch? <laughs> you know? Should we ask Charlie? I, I feel think, like we might have I, to. I think it refers to like jazz musicians used to have this kind of thing where they had the little, you know, soul patch. You know, right here, that thing. Uh, but uh, how are you doing, Albert? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. Uh, you live in Florida for the time being. What do you mean for the time being? Oh, you never know. Oh, okay. You're not <laughs> planning on leaving. Oh. Not 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 right now, no. But if you did, where would you go? Um, I don't know. I'd I'd have to think what country would suit me best. <laughs> oh, I see. That that thinking. You yeah. know, if I were younger, if I were younger, I would leave the country. Me too. You know, if I were 30, I I'm out of here. Yeah, the only thing where would you guys go? Well, I'd have to go somewhere where I can earn a living, and I couldn't earn a living doing radio because, like in France, I can't speak French. How about England? Well, yeah, but I can't stand England. <laughs> How about the Philippines? Even worse. Even worse. A lot of places that speak English. How about Australia? Oh, Australia. <laughs> that might be. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of places speak English. Don't let that. I think I'd enjoy New Zealand. Okay, yeah, that's good too. Looks like New Zealand is kind of cool, you know. Costa Rica. Watch the coronation because you don't like it. What? Well, no, yeah, that whole thing was just such a waste of time <laughs> and, and, money. and money. And money. I mean, I watched the damn thing, and I'm going, "This is ridiculous. How much money are they spending on this? Why don't they just like you know?" Have them stand next to a Bible and swear on it or something like that and then get on with it. Did, did you hear how much his crown was worth? Well, the crown has been around a long time yeah, now. Yeah. It wasn't like they had to go down to Crowns or Us and buy <laughs> it today. <laughs> if you were to sell it, how, what do you think it would be worth? Well, let's face it. To begin with, what it's worth is included in the fact that it is a... Uh, um, uh, the one of the kind. It's an antiquity. Okay. It's an antique. 
I think just the three. stones in it were worth about three to four billion dollars. Hmm. Billion? Billion dollars. Oh, God. Well, it didn't make him look any better. <laughs> <laughs> and, but she looked okay. I think she looks good as an older lady. Oh, they, they look yeah. real. Oh, yeah, she looks good. Mill is a beast. An absolute uh, beast. She I looks look fine. Is that why they're called the crown jewel? Wait a minute. I'll leave it up to the women to talk about Camilla because she is not good looking. Mm -mm. They tried to glam her up. I don't know if you saw. They that's, tried like, to glam her that's, up. that's like trying to shine shit. You know, there are things you <laughs> can't do. How about you? Uh, how about you, Mandy? How did you feel about Camilla? I, I will say, when you say, how do you feel about her? What do you mean? Wait, 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 the other day. I mean, I, if anything, I feel like sad for them because I feel like they should have been together the whole time. Like they should have been able to get married to begin with. What kind of a raving fool would decide on Camilla over <laughs> Diana? Okay. Love, Alex. It's love. Not, love. That either. I'm what did you wait, what'd you say, uh, Scott? It's love. It's yes. love. <laughs> love. It doesn't matter what they look like. And he isn't exactly pretty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what's I just funny? felt always felt sad for them, but I mean, yes, yeah, she's you know, she's just British looking, you know. <laughs> I said, you know, it was funny. I mean, it, it, it I, I was looking at uh, William, and he's slowly turning into an ugly Windsor. <laughs> yeah, he was so cute when he was younger. Now, one morning, did she, is she going to wake up, look to the guy in the bed next to her, and go, "What the fuck happened here?" <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Kate? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know, but and I and I agree with uh, with uh, uh, what's his name, um, the spare Harry. 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 As soon as this was over, he was on in a limo and on a plane back to yeah. the United States, and, and he left with, in his tails. He didn't even change. Yeah. yeah, he got the hell out of Dodge. He's on a commercial flight, even. Yeah. yeah. I think he was, I think he, he, uh, to begin with, they really put it, they put him in the third row. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back with Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> with Andrew, right next to Andrew. Yeah. I think yeah. they refer to that as the penalty box. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Man, it was terrible. Just terrible. Uh, I mean, I just, you know, Come on, you're spending that much money on this thing? Shouldn't they have to pay for it themselves? I mean, isn't it their deal? They should. They should have to. Yeah, yeah. I just don't even understand it. I think it's weird. How, 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 we forgot to ask Charlene. Charlene, your your thoughts on how uh, how uh, the, the lovely Queen of England <laughs> looked the other day? She's a little hard to look at. <laughs> very hard, very hard. <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> Boy, I mean, it, it, it was just, it, it, she's, uh, uh, and I think it's amazing that he's given her the title of queen. Yeah. I just think there's something well, wrong with that. No, yeah, doesn't but, have like okay, a hold little on. Asterisk? How would you have it? King and the king married yeah. to the princess or the king married to the queen? I mean, it just no, makes sense. No, the no they queen. could they could call her the king's consort or uh, they maybe princess. Uh, like yeah, but a king and a princess well, being married no, together doesn't well, sound right to me. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You had a queen and a prince married to each other. True. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. 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 That, what what is what, what who makes these roles? Like, what is that about? Yeah, yeah. they do. Well, she could have said, I want Philip to be king but she didn't so ah. they they made her made him prince and i think it should be princess camilla i kind of thought the same thing yeah i mean you know i'll be back my mom's calling me okay well we'll we'll, uh, well, we'll wait hold, hold say hold hi for us <laughs> <laughs> uh no but i mean uh did you watch any of this albert did you watch this um uh, no no time on that i recorded it and just went through it really fast you 
watched it. Don't give me that crap. No, I, no, I, watched it. <laughs> I, I took 20 minutes out of what life I have left to watch a, a quick version of it. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Joe. Turn your, 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 Turn your voice mic on. on. Turn your mic on. How's that? There we go. Okay. The last time I saw anything about the queen mm -hmm. is the previous queen, I guess, who she got, became queen, and it was on TV. Yeah, was the, in black and white. I thought it was a color, but it was... It was the only time that we had at that point had anybody from another country being on the, on TV. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty wild. Yeah. 70 yeah. years ago. And that's the last that's... time I really cared about well, it. I remember watching that one on television in grainy black yeah. and white with film that was sent over from, you know, England. Oh, yeah. They ran the whole event. Uh, but you know the difference was in, in, in between that and this is that was a really quite attractive woman, mm. young woman becoming becoming queen. Yeah, had a nice looked nice, felt nice, and so on. Here she you was have, only twenty five. You have this troll. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the weights under it's bridges true. for people it's to come true. by. I mean, uh, I mean, he is so, uh, I mean, I was thinking about this the other day. Just, just close your eyes for a moment and try to imagine this. He's going to be on the money. <laughs> yeah. That's when true. the queen was on the money, didn't look bad. Even when she was an old lady, she grew old very gracefully and very nicely, you know. There was something about her with her little purse, you know, really nice. Uh, uh, but to think about Charles on the money, he's going to be on the money. He's going to be on the Canadian money. Is he there yet? He's already there. Well, no, it's still Elizabeth. Oh, it's still um, Elizabeth. We can't see her because yeah. it, that, green's right the green screen is. Yeah, green, yeah. Yeah. But what, uh, you're going to have Charles on the money soon, right? Uh, apparently it's in the works. Yeah. I'm super curious about this. Yeah. If, if they have something like a dollar or something like that, something cheap. Okay. Would you just send me one so I can have a picture of Charles on the money? Absolutely. Yeah. Just, you know, one, one dollar, whatever your one dollar bill is, which is the, what is it? The loon? I don't know. Yeah. We don't have, we don't have dollar bills anymore. We got a coin, but she's on the coin. Uh, but uh, yeah, she'll be on the he'll be on the twenty, and I think he'll be on the hundred as well. How long is that going to take to convert over? It's a good question. I don't mm. know. Wow. Well, I'm probably printing it in England already. And the expense, jeez. <laughs> well, I mean, and he's not young, so that's going to change sometime soon exactly. again. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, if I had my way, and I had to again create the money, I'd put Daffy Duck on the one dollar <laughs> bill. <laughs> <laughs> Because I mean, Daffy Duck was far more important to our culture than George Washington ever was. You know? <laughs> and Daffy Duck never owned slaves. So, uh, so you know. You know. No, oh, he here, just had obnoxious nephews. Yeah, here comes <clears throat> Mandy. Um, uh, let me let me just ask Mandy this. Wait a minute. Wait till she connects her audio and her picture. Come on, Mandy. Mandy, show us your picture. No, oh well. Anyway, Mandy, are you there? Yeah, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. I don't know. Oh, no. Just put, put. I guess you push on camera. Well, I can't. Not even anyway, how's your mother? Is she okay? Yeah. I, oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's fine. I had called her earlier and she didn't answer, and then she was calling me back, and she'd already called in once, and I. Declined it, and then she called again. This time she Facetimed me, so. <laughs> so you were born in that area, right? You were born in the Atlanta area. I was born in Atlanta, in Atlanta. Yeah, one of the greater cities in America. Good city. I now, guess. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you're like I am. Like I was about San Francisco. 
Like I didn't really love San Francisco till I left it for about, I don't know, 10 years. And then I came back and then all of a sudden I went, I've missed this. This is wonderful. You know? I think I, I got, kind of got that feeling finally, like a few years ago, I ran the Peachtree Road Race, which I had never done. <laughs> That's right next to the Peachtree uh, Pharmacy, isn't it? At the bottom of Sugar Hill. At the bottom of Sugar Hill, but Sugar Hill, you have to turn left off of Peachtree. <laughs> I'm just saying. I ran the Peachtree Road Race, and I just remembered being in the crowd and just being, this was pre-COVID, and I was just like, you know what? This town is really cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. there's people here. They need, some of them need to leave. And sometimes I wish I had a special pass on my car since I'm a native that I can zoom past everybody because there's just too many people here. It's too much traffic. But Yeah, but I mean, what happens is you, after you go away for a while and you come back, you suddenly realize well, how good the place was you were living. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of things, you know, that you come to uh, terms with. Uh, and uh, one of the things I was thinking the other night was I was thinking about my career and I was thinking how I went from one job to another or how I got this job or how I was out of work during this period of time. And I looked back on my career and went, how lucky was I? I kept bouncing back, mm. you know, now maybe I'm that good. I don't know, but I yeah, kept no, bouncing back. Huh? No, that's not it. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave now. <laughs> um, that's okay. Everybody says the same thing. If I if I left it up to Albert, he would have come up with that line before you did. No, I don't use old and tired lines. Hey. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Albert's going to love this. The other day I went and did, they asked me to, to, to host a show on a radio station. And it was the answer. And you know what the answer is? <laughs> Jesus. No, I won't. No, the answer is the name of the station. <laughs> and um, it is a Christian right-wing radio station. <laughs> and they said, we'd like you to, you know, host for this guy who's going to be away and i said you do know that i'm a jew and a liberal (laughs) and she went we don't care i said you must be really hard up (laughs) so i went and did this show guess where the studios were well i'll I, i won't let you keep you in suspense they were the old wor studios not the old, old WR studios, but the ones that you and I worked at, that I did a night at. Oh, yeah, right. The ones right. Down, down on Broadway. Yeah. On South yeah. Broadway, they, yeah. Bought that, they bought that whole uh, a group of, uh, of and I did, I did this show out of the same studio I did the show out of when I was there the last time. I heard the show. It was good. Not, not the one later on that we did on New Year's. But uh, you know, and uh, memory is better than mine. I I can't tell. Right next door to me, they had another studio, and it was WMCA. Is it now called the Question? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called the it's called W. I, it, they have a name for it, oddly enough. But it's their it's their purely religious station. Okay, but it was the originally it was the stay first station I worked at in New York City. You know, so I felt like I'd gone full circle. It was now time to just quit and the business <laughs> and pack it up. Did you also convert to Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> well, I question as to whether I would if I wanted a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which uh, I don't think I could, you know. I felt guilty just sitting there with pictures of like the Virgin Mary behind me. <laughs> You know, uh, it just, I did, it, I, I, how many, do we have any Jews here? No. Uh, yeah, we have, Jeff is a Jew. Oh, and Steve, uh, Mr. Bender is a Jew, and Marjorie is kind of a Jew. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, you do, I think, I always felt uncomfortable when they foisted Christianity on me. 
you know, like when I was going to grade school, I was in a Catholic neighborhood and they would, we would be in our class at school, Garfield school across the street from where I live. And um, we, they'd be holding an assembly and they say, now, to give an invocation, here is Father so and so, and then Father so and so would had come up the street, huffing and puffing because the hill was like this. And he would he would give an invocation, and everybody was supposed to bow their heads. And he say, "Bow your heads, let us pray." And I bow my head, you know. And the guy's going, and please bless uh, our teachers, and let's bless our students, and let's bless. Uh, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm figuring it's okay. I'm getting along okay with this. You know, this is no problem. And then they would finish it off and he would just fake us out completely by going, and in Jesus's name, we pray amen. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, you know, I'm sorry. I uh, I didn't sign up for this. And I always found that found that very difficult to deal with the Christian world as a Jew, okay? You know, go to a baseball game, somebody give a prayer. And in God, Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boom, wait a minute, I just bowed my head for the rest of the prayer, you know? And then, uh, then my mother used to, oh God, I used to host the rosary hour on KTIM in San Rafael. And, uh, yeah, and the, I remember the opening to this day, it was... Uh, this is the Rosary Hour, uh, presented by the San Francisco Archdiocese, as we reflect in the life of our Lord and his most blessed mother. And at home, my mother, they'd be having to put a stick in her mouth to keep it from swallowing her tongue when she heard that, because she'd listen to everything I'd do, and including the Rosary Hour. They would sit there for like 15 minutes with their beads, reading the Rosary for lazy Catholics who didn't want to do it for themselves, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Alex, you told us about the uh, the answer last week, and I, I thought about it a couple of times throughout the week. I'm really, I think it's really cool that in the times that we live in right now, how, the way things are so divided, I love that they said to you, yeah, you know what, it's cool, you're a broadcaster, come on in. Uh, you don't need to be affiliated with our belief structure. I think that, that we need more of that in this world. Well, they weren't about to give me a full-time job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not fit that category. Sure. What'd what did you do what, on the show? What did I do on the uh, yeah the Christian show you did? Oh, the same dull crap I always do. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, is this no, I did. I I, I, I just it, you you just you just talking about. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. But you say you you listened to it, Albert. I sent you a copy, didn't I? Yeah, I listen. I, I was on the way to the gym right when you emailed me. Hey, I was just on yesterday, and here's the link. And I listened to it while I was on the on the bike. Yeah, and it was the same shit you always do. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I I said, well, he's going to talk about old age, and then he's going to riff about something and react to what somebody else says for twenty minutes, and that'll be it. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I thought it was a little better than that. Your last three substitute gigs have been old age gigs. They've all they've all been old age. Gigs. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, come on, you know. I mean, if I did a show every day, it wouldn't be old age. No, three three of the five days would be old age, and the other two. Would be <laughs> <laughs> medical issues. Medical issues. Yes. I saw. That's George right. Medical. I saw George Carlin maybe a couple months before he died out here, and he was doing grandpa old age jokes too. So yeah. Well, I mean, I have to, I uh, always, you have to admit, Albert, you know me best. Uh, I, when I go on the air, I talk about my life, you know, and what is my life now? It's, I'm 83. That's part of my life. Well, that, you know, because you do so much prep, you know, <laughs> that's, what, uh, that's what you have to talk about. You know, you, you know, you say that and the king and, of prep and Lynn Samuels would agree with me. Oh, <laughs> I love Lynn. Yeah, she always accused yeah, me. me too. You never do any prep, Alex. You never do any prep. I mean, I never do any prep. Well, you're not getting any less ugly. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh. Ooh. I was always no, I was always nice to Lynn Samuels. Lynn Samuels, for people who don't know what we're talking about, 
was a woman who worked at Sirius XM, and she had been in New York for years and years and years, uh, and uh, doing radio of one sort or another. And uh, I, you know, when I came to Sirius XM, did I ever say anything nasty to Lynn? I don't think so. No. Did I ever say anything nasty about Lynn on the air? No, I don't think so. See, so I respected her. Well, I wouldn't and say she, whenever her, she had the chance, whether it was on the air or in the hallways, you would always about her. provoke me. That's how I the about her. You, wait, 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 what, what are you saying, Mandy? Your mic's off. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Dang it. That's yeah. how your past was on your Facebook page. You posted that she passed on, I think it was on Christmas Eve or something. Yeah. She passed, how I knew because you posted about it. Yeah. Yeah. But even in the morning, I listened to her, her at lunchtime. Well, to show you how much she was liked by people, she was dead for three days in her apartment before anybody went to see what was wrong. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. You remember you remember her sister, Albert, yeah. when we, we did that tribute to I even did a tribute to Lynn, which was the hardest thing in the world for me to do. <laughs> and we called her, her sister was on the show. And what did her sister say about her? I said, you know, I said something. She, she was a terrible woman. Not that, not that bad. She was she something said something like that. that she, she was a uh, uh, disagreeable and not easy to get along with something yeah, exactly. maybe a little maybe a little more harsh than that but in that and this in that is her <laughs> sister remembering her on a show that was a memorial to her after she died yeah so um i i love that moment because i just i think i looked over at you and smiled that doesn't take away the fact that she was right about you never did any prep I mean, that's, that's the genesis of this conversation. Well, I didn't need to do the prep. You did it for me. Yes. And you used some of it occasionally, as I remember. And, you know, he used to make me a list. He used to make me pages of news items short. I don't know where he got them or wherever, but they I read the papers. <laughs> I went online and read the news. That's how I got them. Wow. Well, I God. made the stuff up. Well, I was too busy preparing my speech about old age. Yeah, well, you were like an old age back then. No, but the thing is that... that you uh, and I have cancer still. No, but, you know, it, arguing that thing about prep, I'll tell you what. I did this thing the other day, right? And when I was told to do it, they said, come in tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. It was I had a day to get ready for it. And I didn't know what I was going to talk about. But constantly I was thinking about things. No, wait a minute. I was thinking about things in my head for the next 24 hours. So when I finally walked in that studio, I had any number of things to start talking about, you know. Uh, so, I mean, I do prepare, but it's it's a continual process of me absorbing stuff around me and absorbing the news and so on. And, and for instance, what are two of those any number of things that you prepared in your brain? I know oh, one, was the, one was the kiosk. <laughs> the kiosk. His ailments, that's not that's not something that's prepped in his brain. That's an automatic. <laughs> no, but the, no, I the thing about the shacks outside the store. Shacks outside the store. Hey. You were thinking about that for the for the whole day? No, that I, that was one of the things that I came up with in my head that I wanted to talk that I was going to talk about. And it, it, as a in the bit, middle of that process, I was going to put down the mayor doing it. Well, you did. You did he, that. He's a guy that's let those things go on. Check done yeah see that all right so you did prep okay i, no, I mean uh, i was constantly <laughs> thinking about what am i going to say listen i have to do a uh i have to do a speech at shecky's memorial and um i it's i've been thinking about it constantly it's not like i i'm not prepping for it i'm prepping for it all the time you know because I I go, what, what do I say about him? I knew him for 45 years. I could go on about him for like three days straight, you know? Are you not going to write it down? No. What, why? I never do. Well, I think this might be a time you would maybe think about writing it down. Maybe. Or at no. least some bullet points, maybe. Yes, what do you mean by that? Do you mean okay. I'm so old I better write it down? Is that what you're implying? No, I mean that that's a that's a big thing to do a, a eulogy. It, it's 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 something that you can't really extempor extemporaneize. I did it at my mother's funeral. 
And that's why she has no uh, tombstone. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Oh, she still not have a tombstone? You know, I've talked to a lot of people who don't have tombstones for their parents. Okay. You've been promising. What do I know you? 15, yeah, you're promising years. at least 15 years to put a tombstone on this. Well, shortly I will have the money to do it with. All right. Well, well you that, know, we'll put one on yours. You know that, right? Oh, you're not, not going to put one on me because she's going to burn me to a crisp. I <laughs> am. Can I be there? Can I watch that? <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. No, I like when Albert shows up. I'm just going to go on the record and say it's nice when you show up here, Albert. Well, yeah. I, I like crispy bacon. So, so. I, I, know, I know, I know, I know how I'm going to kill you, Albert. I'm simply going to say you're my best friend. Uh. <laughs> Is that, well, am I that far down the list? We're huh? we gotten down that far. Oh, the all list? the other ones have gone. I know, I know. You know. So if I say you're my best friend, next thing I know, you're, you're going to be in the hospital and be dead. You know? <laughs> Does that also come with uh, beneficial rights of some kind? <laughs> no, not at all. Nothing. No. Oh. no, I just get to call you up and tell you what my ailments are. So what's the difference being a best friend or not? I got that without being the best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got paid for it. Okay, you got paid for it. Only for 10 years, but the 10 since I got paid for it. <laughs> I'm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. He was kind of like, you know, when I got fired from Sirius XM. I when was we got fired. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to get to that. Okay. When I got fired from Sirius XM, I was fired, wasn't I? It's, uh, that, yes. I was De definitely. Okay. Makes me feel better. I would rather get fired than... Uh, well, uh, we're uh, we're we're what what uh, uh, cutting cutting expenses here, you know. They were downsized. So anyway, they got rid of me, and it was kind of like uh, what they did with the uh, the pharaohs when they would bury them in the pyramids. They would also kill all the people that worked for them, like the servants and so on and so forth. They were killed as well and buried with him in the in the pyramid. And really? I began, to, I began yeah. to think of Albert as being one of those, <laughs> those people that well, she got rid of me. Him, he went as well. I could never figure why they got rid of you. You could have been used anywhere in that building. Not for the price they were giving me. That's the problem. I think yeah. I think money had something to do oh, with her, you know. And maybe attitude too, because at that point I was like, yeah, these guys don't know what they're doing. And you let them know it too. I, that's what I get paid for. I get paid to tell you what I think is the good way to do it and not a good way to do it. You know, when, when, when I gotta admit this, when Albert would say to me, good show, I took it seriously. I mean, that really meant something to me. I said it three or four times. So <laughs> <laughs> there were a few of them in there. This is what I went through <laughs> nine years. All kind of. When we first met, we didn't like each other. No, we did not. And and by the end, do you all, now? No, by the by the end of it all, by the end of it all, I like you a lot. You still didn't, didn't like me, but I like you a lot. No, no. What by the end of it all? Of course, I liked you because then you then you told me, hey, hey, come to this video thing that I have going on. That's going to be even lesser than anything you've ever done before. <laughs> and I went, so I must have liked you. Yeah. <laughs> this is why i, I love fun doing that i did have fun doing that oh yeah well, i think we had more fun doing that than we ever did being at sirius xm yes we felt far more creative about it in a different way yeah well we produced a show that really looked like a full-blown tv show in what i was sat in for albert a couple of times remember what? what'd you say i sat in for albert a couple of times yeah Right. What were you say? What'd you say, Albert? You, I said it was a it was a full blown TV studio, so it should have looked good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked I mean, great. Yeah. It's pretty wild that you guys created that that show in one in one day, one week. I think, but yeah, we did. It was well. Yeah. It evolved though. It evolved. Yeah, but I mean, we did it. It was just at a table, you know, in twelve hours or something like that. Yeah, well, we were off the show on at Sirius on on Friday, and on Monday we were doing that thing. That's yeah, right. yeah. Was it that quick? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that's I what know. I remember. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. It was pretty good, you know. Are I there know. archives of that on uh, YouTube? Uh, the, uh, uh, there are on, um, not, well, I'm not on, on YouTube. I just can't remember if we put any of them up on YouTube. But I'll tell you where you can find them is if you do have a Roku, you can go over to the GabNet channel, and it's there, several of them, about 10 of them, I think. But they were, they were pretty good. I, did you have a chance to say, have a goodbye episode before that? Like, did you direct people, hey, we're going to be doing this next week? Or did they oh yeah, no, say, they gave, no, you've they, had your last show and that was they, it? They trusted me enough to give me about a week, actually. I, I, a couple weeks. Huh? A couple That's awesome. weeks. Yeah, two That's weeks. Yeah, they didn't pull a Tucker Carlson on. <laughs> no, I, I think they truly trusted that I wouldn't stab them in the back. You know, what they worry about, the reason why they make people, they say to people like Tucker... <clears throat> Hey, remember Friday? Yeah, that was your last show. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the reason they do that is because they don't want the person going on the air and then putting down the product or putting down the situation or dissing them or whatever. And if you're not on the air, you can't do it. They trusted me enough. I mean, it, it says a lot about both myself and Albert, because we were kind of a team in this, that we were going to go out being decent about it. Yeah, but would they have done it now? Because now there's such a proliferation of social media. YouTube is is we could could have gotten on YouTube an hour after they told us and and bad mouthed them. Yeah, still let you go go for two weeks. Who knows? It yeah. may have, yeah. when they're out, they're out. Yeah, but uh, so we we but we had a you know. It, that, that, we went out, I guess. I went out okay, I think. I, what I liked was right after the show, two of our executives, my pro, um, pro, program director and one other guy, uh, came to me and said, well, good last show, and we really thank you for doing it like you did it, you know. And uh, let, let's let it all rest for a couple of weeks, and let's have lunch. So I, I went, well, that's very nice. I said, what do you want to talk about? They said, we'll talk about it when we get to, to sit down with you. I'm figuring they, maybe they're going to give me something else, right? So I let about three weeks pass, and I call them, and I write, and write a note or whatever. And I say, hey, what about that lunch? And he said, well, so-and-so's out of town right now. We'll do it when he gets back. It's now 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. And I've often had the desire to write this guy who was my program director and say, and about that lunch, yeah. forget it, I ate already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, the, the, you always kept saying you. to me, have they asked, have they called you for lunch yet? <laughs> Thank you. Albert, you were doing that for a while. What? Or, or, saying to me, have they, oh, have they called you for lunch yet? No. Called you for lunch yet? No, no. You know. oh, anyway. I would stop waiting if I were you. <laughs> I think it's time to stop waiting. I'm not that hungry anyway. So, you know, it doesn't take much. Uh, however, he would, did was part of the reason why I was nominated for the Broadcast Hall of Fame, though. Uh, he That's and Walter right, yeah. Sabo. Yeah. By the way, it, it did, it, Walter Sabo's in the hospital. Oh, I didn't know that. What's atrial what fibrillation? Was it a heart attack? No, what is it? Is it know what it is? Len, do you know what it is? It looks like you know what a atrial fibrillation is. Yeah, heart and hearts are beating irregularly. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it causes the blood to pull in your one of your chambers, like my dad had it, and that's how he stroked, had a stroke, because then it you can cause a stroke. Yeah. If you don't catch it at the time. But you could have it for you know a short couple of minutes or sure. uh, twenty minutes or something like that, and you could just sit down and and you're like mentally, it's bothering you the whole thing. Oh, yeah. really? yeah. how do you know you have it? What are, what are the signs? You drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. Mentally, you know what it is. Oh. You just dropped it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, Alex, you've never had it. You've no. never had atrial fibrillation. <laughs> you will now. <laughs> no, I won't. Now that you know what it is, I think I have atrial fibrillation. Yeah. They'll go yeah. on the computer just to double. That's check. right. 
I just had my, just had my little cancer. That's all. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I ever had it. I'm sure I did, but I don't remember. AFib? Yeah. Well, you you had a whole heart deal. You've got your yeah. Pretty, so I probably had it. I didn't even remember. The inter inside of your body is pretty much RoboCop right yeah. now. <laughs> I got all okay. the mechanics. Yeah, he's, <laughs> and the funny <laughs> part is, who invented the mechanics that are in your chest right now? A couple of them. Yeah. You invented some of that process. I sure did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that odd and unusual and terrific? Mm. Um, I, I he, he, Jeff's one of my heroes. He's 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 survived very well through a medical crisis. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and another one of my heroes is Albert because he put up with me for nine years. So you know. <laughs> That's a lot. And Marjorie has put up with and me. And then the before. ten afterwards. <laughs> and Marjorie's put Cal up with me for almost 15 years. Yeah, Marjorie's the she's the soldier. Saint. Mm. Yeah. He's a saint. Some, yeah. of us, some of us have been listening to you for 30 plus years. You know, we well, do we get a medal? <laughs> <laughs> sure. You get a participation, you get a participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we just had our little anniversary of this show. I saw it on my Facebook because. Oh, the, oh. did it like I hopped on like in the middle but I like did a screenshot or like took a picture of the screen and like made a post about it oh cool when was it shared it like it was just a few days ago it was oh. a month so this was the what how, how many anniversary Three? Was, third I, anniversary because yeah. somewhere here I have the the first episode I would imagine I watched Probably it, yeah. the time stamp on it, it. 2020. What? What? What'd you say? It was like the first week of May 2020. Oh, okay. okay. So it's been three years. And I just did. Just, I did that by accident. I just went. Well, oh, let me go on and see if anybody's there. <laughs> you know? And it was really successful, and it still is. I mean, the amount of people we get every week watching this pretty much tops everything else, except Marjorie and I in the park, and then the short. <laughs> Oh, the shorter those are, the more people watch it. It's really strange. I don't get it. Did you did you start this because of COVID? Or no? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Maybe I did. Yeah. 2020, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. I figured people needed somewhere to kind of, you know, they were all home and they needed somewhere in the afternoon to talk, you know, and this thing I did once you know, just see how it would work. And then I figured, that's yeah, fun. I'll do it again next week. And before we knew it, we were doing it every week. And uh, here we are to this day, you know. A lot and of no day. politics. Who was there that first day? Well, you were there, right, Mandy? And, Who were you? And yeah. Brian Neary, too, right? I, I, was, I was here. I think yeah. I was your first guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, I've been wanting to do like the Zoom thing. I have like FOMO because I was still coming into the office. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen. I just looked. We've run over. Oh boy. Uh, uh, yeah. Over. Yeah. And and Charlene is just jumping with joy there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. We appreciate it. Always nice having you here, uh, Charlie. What is your What does the T-shirt say today? The gravity, you can't escape it unless you travel at 25,000 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Charlie. I always appreciate it. Uh, the, oh, it's the smartest guy we have here. He is the only rocket scientist. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Ast what is it? Astrophysics? Astrophysicist. Mm -hmm. Astrophysicist. And he knows Russian. Who are some other famous astrophysicists? Quickly. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. I love Carl Sagan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, 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 Len LaFrisco. Sir, thank good you. To, always good to have you here. It's, it wouldn't be a show without you. <laughs> and, of course, uh, our good friend, uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, G uh, good luck with your little whatever that thing is you're going to do. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. But, yeah. I, I, you got to improve the pitch. Anyway, uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> let me see here. No, but good. Hey, listen, when you're in New York, we have to get together. Absolutely. Because I, I, I will be here when you're here. Uh, yes. uh, Jeff, always a pleasure 
God, I love that guy. Marjorie? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Scott Boddicker? Great having you here. Uh, Vernon Nunn? Congratulations. You shouldn't have killed those seven horses, but I'm not holding it against you. Thank you. Okay. And thanks for the lecture on what bourbon is and scotch and all of those yeah. things. Uh, Albert, you know, what can I say about you, Albert? You and I have to do a, uh, I want to get a hold of you and do one of those little things for the late show. Are you better hurry? Because I'm very, very busy. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> And finally, of course, the lovely and attractive Mandy O'Brien. Mandy, life going good? Yeah, I'm just glad Brian Neary's not on this call today. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the topper of every one of our shows who says nothing really in the show unless I say something to him, but he waits for this moment when I say, we'll see you next time. And in the meantime, that's all, folks. <laughs> okay, everybody. Big wave <laughs> goodbye. Appreciate it.